Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire wept. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor which did little to endear him to the Pope. <laughs> Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of them, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's armies. It is here that my story begins. Y aquí empieza la historia, dice, ¿no? a jugar de nuevo el extremo es mueres y chao yo sí aquí yo sí muero Usta, pero hasta decir basta basta Imbécil, ¿no? Esto es lo que quería ver, nada más.
is Claro, le voy a hacer ya de una vez en folder todo bien bonito ahí. Ya, ahí, justo antes de comenzar, ¿no? Me sale que eso está en inglés y no lo quiero cambiar, ¿no? Pongámoslo así nada más y ya está. Mira eso. Y listo. Listo, listo. Entonces ahí están los dos y el juego está en los dos. Eh, los, el idioma está en inglés hablado y tiene subtítulos en español, lo cual a mí me parece bien. Same to you. The praise has got to be. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. Oh, this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up, then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm.
Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Uh, uh, mm. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Ahora sí, ¿no? Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm, well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Hmm. Oh. Yes, I see. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Menuda facha. I said this for mañana. This is Monte Ojo. Blah, blah, blah. Bueno, a ver, cojamos, escojamos alguno, ¿no? Yo creo que agilidad no sirve. De I went dancing. Dancing? Ah, that's why you're tired. But you'll still have to work today. Igual vamos a levelear. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Porque me iban a interesar las espadas. Matías me estaba enseñando a disparar con el arco. Estuve con Bianca Vitalidad. ¿Qué importancia tiene? Fuerza. Esto me podría servir, pero esto también me interesaría mucho. So I'm learning to sword fight, and what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it, then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. La lección de esgrima. A ver, veamos. Do you need me to do anything, ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard Matthew to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern That's somewhere, as usual. usual. Oh, not this again. Leave it lie, mother. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself.
Bueno, entonces mientras más hablas creo que también te da mejora tu, tu manera de hablar. ya como como ya, como abrirnos la, los cofres según una vez sería excelente no hacerlo cuánto puede llevar este tipo cuánto podrá llevar eh cuánto podremos llevar podremos llevar como por ahorita tiene bastante capacidad llevemos todo lo que encontramos Hemos dejado nuestra propia casa ya vacía. Es nuestra primera misión. Quería que le ayudemos con algo. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? A ver, dice la persuasión. A veces necesitas poder de persuasión para lograr tus objetivos. Cuando hablas con la gente, normalmente puedes seleccionar el tipo de impresión que quieres causar. También puedes usar sencillamente el diálogo, pero se ve influenciado por la reputación que tengas en el momento de hablar con esa persona. En la edad media, la posición social era crucial, de forma que tu atuendo y su aseo también... Además de tu reputación, pueden suponer una gran diferencia a la forma en que la gente te responde. Si tienes un aspecto peligroso, la gente te temerá. A veces puedes confiar en que el dinero hable por ti y, bueno, esas son las maneras que podemos usar para mejorar nuestras cosas. El nivel de tu reputación está en rojo y abajo está señalado. Todo abajo, todo abajo. Está señalado nuestros puntos, ¿no? A ver. Para cerrar, mantén pulsado, ¿ya? Bueno, aquí no sabemos nada, así que vamos a ir por este porque... Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy, when are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunes, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. 
If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasso. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Larga historia, no? Okay, a ver, vamos a ir parte a parte. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to? He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitor. Now even the Pope... Don't be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. You What's Henry going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? And Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. The hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and... forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. What can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? Too right, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? You want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. Uh, you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratic sort. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Bueno, a lanzarle caca a la casa. A ver, antes de responder, solo quiero hacer algo, ¿no? Eh. 
Eh, exactamente. Ahora creo que estamos mejor. Este... Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Ahora hay que seguirles esto. So are we doing this or not? Wait, we have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go mirror her away sometimes. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! <laughs> Next thing he'll start on about the Pope. He might have mentioned the Pope's too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Perdido reputación porque What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. <laughs> Nearly. Now that would be sweet. That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes! You bastard! What the <laughs> fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> Hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse Hans, I'll make those smiles off your faces. Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Oh my <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! The catch pole is 
on his way. you stop by. Vamos a comernos unas manzanas, ¿no? Para tener toda la vida llena y estar bien ahí. Pues vamos, idiotas. Hay que seguirles, no me acuerdo a dónde es, pero vamos a verles si es que nos llevan al mismo sitio. Por aquí es justamente donde queremos ver, aquí vive el tipo este, no me acuerdo si es que podemos atacarle ahorita mismo o después, a ver si es que nos ayudan a nuestros compañeros. O toca hablar con ellos primero. Hablemos con ellos. ¿eh? Puta, qué lejos. ¿A dónde quieren irse, estúpido? Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Welcome, Henry. Veamos si podemos hablar para que nos sigan estos estos. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you. Nada, se quedan ahí. A ver dónde está este Henry. Está aquí. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. No quiere pagar, hermano. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll Pero use the axe on pagar, you. Men. I must have misheard you. You suck. Bye bye. Cut up. Ah. 
Sod it! Bug it up there. Se cansó el carimazo, ¿no? Ahora hablemos con estos, estos panas a ver si ahora deciden ayudar o qué pasó. Ah, We sorted out Deutsch. Now I've got someone else to deal with. Another beating? <laughs> Count me in. Kuna shows money to my father, but he won't pay. I'll have to shake it out of him. Show me. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Not as in, Nom. No necesito, parece, ¿no? 
No es necesario tanto así nomás. Kanesh, get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. What's going on? Hey, stop that! Christ, a thief! I see a thief! God! Ah, no joder, hey, man. you! Halt! Surrender! You committed a crime and I'm arresting you! Someone saw you stealing. Well, you won't forget this. Oh, come on, my friend. What? Yeah, desastros. That's too much. I don't have that much coin. You still have to pay the penalty. Put me in jail then. Bueno, nos vamos a la Give me. ¿Qué se puede hacer, no? Maybe next time you'll think twice about breaking the law. Qué buen inicio, ¿no? Has muerto en la cárcel. ¿Cómo es eso? Has muerto en la cárcel, men. No. A ver, idiotas tienen que ayudarme. Como ya hemos visto otra vez la pata. You'll get what for. Vamos donde Cunés, nos reunimos con toda esta gente que veamos. No te pediles que me ayuden con él, mi sobrino. Good day.
God be with you, Kanesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe. I've got nothing. I knew you'd be trouble. I'd like to see him try. Look. Yes. Take care. Too. Well, we sorted that torch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker hands will. Well, let him. Good point. It's not as if anyone really... We've sorted out another beating. Kunesh owes money to my father, but he won't pay. I'll have to shake it out of him. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it, then. Good day, Henry. Get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old trump. Yeah. <laughs> you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. Do you bueno, understand? Bueno, muy fácil el cambio, ¿no? Creo que así se suponía que había que... Paso, nos comemos su comida. Es lo que se merece. El dios maldito. No. Uy. Pues este tipo no tiene absolutamente nada también.
about okay, going around and trampling his cabbage patch a bit. A ver, ¿qué más querían aquí? Henry, I'm glad you came. Welcome, Henry. El carbonero dice. Good day. Hablemos de negocios. Necesitamos carbón. ¿Cuánto de carbón necesitamos? Había como ver los objetivos, pero no me acuerdo cómo era. Creo. Eh, sí, posiblemente en el código. Aquí, una visita inesperada. El carbonero quiere... I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? Have you recovered from yesterday's? Oh, it was nothing. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place. I need to know how to... Broken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. You have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Dave, my lovely. You're looking hey, well today. <laughs> you too. What's well, to you for? <laughs> oh, noble sir. It's honor. The Deutsches, man. Oh. Well, I need ale. Oh. A pitcher is hard. <laughs> what of it? Pidiéndole unas jarras de cerveza y nos vamos más rápido así. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Don't worry, dearest. This evening I'll see you right. Oh, wow. I do hope so. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Funny. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? You promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I'll get something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite. Save your snacks. Really? 
You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you thank me properly later. You bet I will. So, can we get started? We can. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Very good. Very good. Fine. Very good. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Not bad. Nice. Not bad. Again. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Fine. Cansa, esta es la línea amarilla del cantante. Not bad. Again. enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired and thirsty. Remember though, train hard. Recoger los gavilanes en el castillo. Ah, aquí, el dinero de en el castillo y poner sus compras. Madre que se remende, entonces vamos a que nos remende, ¿no? Is everything all right, son? Good luck, Dan.
How are you? I've just been to the top. That bastard. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saratik, and the Chamberlain has to. Right. They're here. Which... I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't. When did I ever buy. <sighs> Where shall I stop? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. He certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Nosotros somos el hijo del herrero, nada más, nadie más. Estamos haciendo los mandados aquí en el pueblo. Y ahorita tenemos que hacer el último mandado que es este de ir a recoger el carbón, ¿no? Para forjar el pedazo de la espada. Solo nos dio un mango de la espada, ¿no? Que se saque la espada entera del bolsillo y ya estaría complicado, ¿no? A ver. Añadir a la cesta, ahora sí 10. Ojalá no me quite reputación por equivocarme, ¿no? Fuerte el juego a veces en estas penitencias. Mirar la cesta, ahora sí regatear. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? ¿Cómo que no tiene suficiente dinero, men? Se supone que debería tener, ¿no? Ay, otra vez me, me quita la reputación del estudio. De riqueza cero. ¿Por qué tengo cero de riqueza? Puedo vender. ¿Qué tengo, qué diablos tengo que hacer con todo esto? Dice, comprar un saco de carbón en el mercado. Strong linen, delicate velvet, beautiful and fine. God be with you. <clears throat> ¿Qué podría ir mal? Vendamos todo.
Ahora sí, regateemos. ¿Por qué me quieres? Let's have a word about the price. Ay. Bueno, al menos hemos mejorado en el diálogo. Ah, eso es lo que voy a recibir. Queremos esto, ¿no? Queremos esto. 5-5. ¿Qué te parece? Tough luck. Uf, demasiado jodido con estos manes conversar ya no me ya no ha de querer hacer mi negocio mira solo quiero venderte esta basura entiende Ahora me quiere pagar menos. Let's talk about the price. Tanta reputación, eso es lo que pasa sure, con la reputación. Me preocupa un poco, sí, pero no tanto realmente. Satisfied? That sounds pretty interesting. A little less and I'll be satisfied. Ya, 2.5, ya. I'm finished. This is going sí. nowhere. Pero qué diablos de este man ya ahorita quiere gratis todo ya. Gracias. I'd like to discuss the pro Naturally. Is this enough? That's better. Drop in a bit. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Hmm. Bueno, ahora vamos a la forja y hemos terminado todas las misiones de aquí del principio. Bueno, no se puede nada. Las cosas que querías. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Where have you been with that ale? It's as flat and warm as horse piss. Go back and get me another, and you can pay for it yourself. That's the price of stupidity.
cerveza que no esté caliente te mando me manda de nuevo por otra cerveza no sé de dónde hey. God be with you Stay in the bed and be still Come right up and take some home So what are we to do with you, Henry? I'm back. I can see that. What's the matter? I need another pitcher of ale. The last one wasn't cold enough for father. You want me to get it for you? Aye, right. and a smile from you. <laughs> Good luck. La novia de... Thanks. It's out of the question. Here you go. <laughs> I can't. Barata la cerveza. Por aquí. Sabemos a qué sitio nos queremos llevar a futuro, ¿no? Ah, mira, ve. mejorar nuestras armas pero ahorita no tenemos ni siquiera uno oh ah no esa hacha ya nos quitaron no bueno vamos a entregarle la cerveza yeah, about time have you got everything I wanted I have charcoal the hilt and the ale we can start good job let's have it then son well done Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Me demoré mucho con la cerveza por eso, ¿no? Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. We got the charcoal. Good. And fire up the forge and put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure. You and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier. It was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well, and having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught. Making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, 
If you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Okay, you're done. done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? You remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, the and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. That's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? Que por los clavos. La verdad, ni siquiera puse atención a casi nada de lo que pasaba. Llevar los clavos. Este... Los clavos Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. This is another one. Fine, lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Right. 
Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let him try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Ispan. Have a safe journey to Sassad. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Listen to me now. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house. Grab anything else important for the truck. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? He was in the village. I'll fetch her and follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Reddy. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. You as well. Closing! Move them, people! 
cover! Cover! Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside! Quick, we have to shut the Get gates! Running, people! Come on! My mission, man. You can't go back! Get through the gate! Run! Find the horse! Write it down! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the boats! To the path down there! Jump down to the wall and flee!
Yeah. Itt tekerem a nyakat, te gyakorló! Yeah. 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 Run for it! Postalicska. Vad gör det Gani? Ja. 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 Men då måste vi finna det här. Och vägen. Run for it. One the others, they tore its scallops. Get it, big money. Keep it as like that, boss. That's bad. Yeah. Ah, that's a ruby set.
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idle, there's nothing better to do. Get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Bueno, y así nos hemos ganado algo de reputación, viendo y avisando a otros. Somos, fuimos el mensajero en tiempos de guerra. ¿A cuánto salvamos con esto? Dire, Robert. We have to speak. You didn't forget to check the supply. No, sir. I checked it. It seems everything is fine. Hey. Vamos a llevarlo a la cocina. 
cocina que coma algo, aparentemente no podemos, ¿no? ¿Por qué me está siguiendo? Abre la cocina. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Exactamente eso es lo que estaba pensando. I heard about your father. Ah. Ah, oh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. Lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Dormir en el pabellón, ¿no? Oh, oh God. Uh, eat. Food. Perfecto. Obviamente me voy a llevar absolutamente todo lo que encuentro aquí. Hasta los vasos si pudiera. Nos llevamos los quesillos. Todo esto es gratis. Dice recoger. Como no dice robar. Significa que es gratis. Esto ya no es gratis. Lo que está ahí no es gratis y no vale la pena llevárselo a este vino. Creo que ahí estamos ya, ¿no? Comidos en exceso un poco. Mm. Ahora. Tenemos que encontrar... ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Es? 
le descansas. Y con eso tenemos guardada la partida. La única forma de guardar y también con algunas misiones, también con algunas pociones. Hay que comprar pociones para grabar la partida. Yes. Otra historia. Forgive the intrusion. But it didn't wake you, boy. Did I? My lady. Um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. You might be right, my lady. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other.
A fellow by the name of Kunesh owed money to father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunesh had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when you... Kunesh still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. Awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him, cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening... You thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It's Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. Even though I had the sword we made for Sir Adzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. You poor boy. Oof, I understand your end. grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdeg, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and Oof. 
Tremendo. All of a sudden. Un poco, ¿no? Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is there? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. con la antorcha de la mesa a ver All they have to do is Listen up. If it's bigger uh -huh. than his army, uh -huh. prepare for the worst. going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talberg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scala. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his scent to Scala, the spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm stopped. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Donde unos mercenarios simplemente se trabajan. ¡Oh! ¿Quién va ahí? ¡Lucifer y sus minions! ¿Quién más, Robert? ¡Sir Antsig! ¡Qué relief! ¿Está su lordship ahí con ti? Sí, señor, está aquí. ¿Qué estás haciendo tan tarde, Dimish? A tu edad, necesitas una buena noche de sueño. Bueno, Rantic, no te exactly pick the best time para un outing, either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. God. A brave young man. 
But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skellix. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck mm. to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Anywhere, people? Move out! Man, tonight we'll have triple patrol. I catch anyone. I want you to keep it.